degree of unsaturation. Let me first give you a, a little formula for this. This is a little calculation that you can do. Really the only calculation that you're going to have, and it, it's a pretty fancy calculation. Uh, the degree of unsaturation equals the number of H's missing from the structure divided by the number 2. <laughs> so if you can divide by 2, you're pretty set. Uh, let me give you some examples of that uh, and make a little table just to illustrate. So I'm going to do a name is my first column, formula is my next column, uh, H's, my next really H is missing, and then the degree of unsaturation is my last column. So four columns, name, formula, H is missing, and the degree. For example, let's take an alkane. Its formula is CnH2n plus 2. This is a fully saturated uh, hydrocarbon, and so there are no more possible H's that can get on here. All the carbons have their octet. Uh, that we cannot get another H on there. So this is the example of the fully saturated, completely filled with hydrogens, uh, family, and so the degree of unsaturation is 0 divided by 2 or 0. Okay? Now let's get a contrasting example. An alkene. That has the formula of CnH2n. So you can see from our base, from the uh, perfect example, we're missing two hydrogens in this case. It's two hydrogens away from being fully saturated. It's two. And so two divided by two is one. So the alkene has one degree of unsaturation. This is the same, I'll just put in small here, as the cycloalkane. It also is CNH2N, so it has two hydrogens missing. If you remember a couple, a little while ago we did that uh, structural isomer example with the C5H10. And C5H10, it's missing two uh, hydrogens. So I knew that it had to be an alkene or a cycloalkane because it was missing two hydrogens. So that's why I use those two uh, as my isomers. Let's try another one. I know we didn't talk about this one. Uh, but I can give you the formula anyways. The alkyne has this formula, CnH2n minus 2. So in this case, this one's missing four hydrogens from the fully saturated alkane awesomeness. So 4 divided by 2, that has what's called 2 degrees of unsaturation. Let's try an alcohol. Now, you don't need to know these formulas, but you need to know how to do the calculation. So, alcohol has this formula, a C, oops, N, H, 2N, plus 2, O. In this case, there's no hydrogens missing. It has a maximum amount, so it's zero, and so it has no degree of unsaturation. Let's look at an aldehyde. Again, you don't need to know these formulas, uh, but if I give you the formula, you need to be able to figure out the degree of unsaturation. Aldehyde uh, is this right here. It's missing two hydrogens because it's only 2n, not 2n plus 2, so this has one degree of unsaturation. So hopefully you're getting the idea. Uh, one funny one that I'll do is the alkyl halide. That'll have the formula of CnH2n plus 1 x. This one's kind of a funny one. Uh, we're allowed to count this x as a hydrogen. And the x is like fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine. So if we count that as a hydrogen, it would be 2n plus 2. And so 
uh, an alkyl halide is fully saturated. It looks a little different than the alkane, definitely. Uh, but it has no degree of unsaturation. So let me do a little summary here at the bottom. And I'll make that tiny table in my summary. And I will forget to put an M in there. Summary. OK. <laughs> degree uh, bond. If you have one degree of unsaturation, that means two possible things. You either have a double bond, so for example, the alkene, or the another one, the aldehyde. Aldehyde has a C double bond O. So if you have one degree of unsaturation, that means you have a double bond or you have a ring. For example, the cycloalkane also have one degree of unsaturation. So if you ever calculate one degree of unsaturation, you know that there's a ring or a double bond. So if you're drawing out isomers, this is really helpful. You calculate the degree of unsaturation, you know what the functional group will be. If you ever calculate two degrees of unsaturation, that means you have a triple bond. So look at the alkyne. That's two degrees of unsaturation. Or it's a double of something else. So there's uh, two double bonds. Or, there's two rings. Or what's the last possibility? <coughs> one double bond, one ring. So if you ever calculate two degrees of unsaturation, it could be the double bond, like in our table, an alkyne, that you saw up in the middle of the table. Or, it could be a mixture of other things, a two double bonds or a ring and a double bond, or two rings. So an example would go as follows. Let's say you had C4 uh, H6 I want to calculate the degree of unsaturation. How many hydrogens are missing? It should be, if it's a butane, it's C4H10, 2N plus 2. So I'm missing four hydrogens. Divide that by two, I have two degrees of unsaturation. That means this could be a triple bond. It could be two rings. It could be a, a ring and a double bond. And there's a lot of possibilities. So for example, this could be this. There's a C4H6. Uh, it could be this. That's just another way, another place to put the triple bond. Uh, it could be two double bonds, so it could look like this. Because two degrees of unsaturation, each double bond counts for one, so one, two, or triple bond counts for two. Uh, it could have a ring and a double bond. Uh, or it could be two rings. Can you think of a way to do two rings with four carbons? How about this? two cyclopropanes attached. All these are C4H6. So these are all isomers. There could be others. I'm trying to think if I can think of another one. I guess you could have a, it could look like this, something like that. Or that. All these, notice, are triple bonds at the top, or two double bonds here, or uh, we've got a double bond and a ring. In these cases, we've got a, two rings here. Let's see if I can think of any others. One. You have that. Just drawing a bunch of isomers of it. 
So it's kind of like uh, mixing an isomer problem and a degree of unsaturation calculation.